Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Final Upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and unpause the game here. Let's see, last episode we got a couple stations set up. We colonized Mars, we colonized Venus. We set up uh, a station here on Mars, right? To produce the iron for us and send that down to Mars. Mars has a constant demand for refined iron. So that's all up and running. Uh, this station, to upgrade it, we need to unlock the iron ingots. We might we might look at doing that. Let's see what they want us to do up here in the hints. Let's unlock tech, electricity from carbon ingots. Let's go ahead and do what they suggest. So here it is, electricity from carbon ingots. We'll select that, hit research, 4,000 XP. We're still looking great on XP. We've got almost 70,000 free. Then we've got a hint here saying to claim Sector Saturn. I think before we do that, I want to meet the needs here for carbon on Mars. We've got a one-time order for carbon on Mars. And I think we have the same thing or something similar on Venus. Let's go take a look. Venus wants iron in order to beef up the carbon production. Let's do that. Now, one way we can do this is by creating a trade ship. So just like we got this energy carrier that's kind of automatically charging itself up and taking electricity wherever it's needed, we can build a similar ship to take products or materials where they're needed. Let's go into blueprints and try that out. Go ahead and hit the magnifying glass here to get the full list. So we've got fighters, here, energy carriers, construction ships. Here's Trader. Let's do this guy. We'll just do build. Uh, we'll stick with steel for now. I will put this near our flagship. We'll just call it Trader is fine. Okay, we just got a bunch of like hints pop up, but let's get it constructed. So our ship's just going to move over a little bit and start its thing. Kind of familiar with that. It'll go fetch iron. We don't have hardly any iron on here. Or we don't have much iron, I should say. Our flagship will go fetch some iron. Uh, let's see what this says here. Teleport items to a station or a ship. Okay. Activate the resource zone mode by pressing K. Drag and drop the items from one resource zone to another. And then hold left shift while dragging the item to see the deal details. Okay. So this is if we want to manually move resources from one location to another. I don't think we need to do that right now. Uh, let's see. Transport liquid. That's going to be the same thing. I'm just going to skip over it. It's pretty much the same thing. Transfer energy between ships. We've already done that. So I'm just going to dismiss this. We saw that just dragging from one battery to another transfers uh, electricity. Read map signs. Okay, read map signs. A sector quality. The higher its quality, the higher the chance to find rare resources, but the claim cost is higher too. Okay. Let's see. Can we see that? Okay, the star, the higher the quality. Interesting. We'll have to come back to this. I'm not quite sure what this is about. Local station. Okay, local station is showing us this little... Hexagon shows that there's a station there, I guess. Sector ships, the color indicates their faction affiliation. All right. These little glowing orbs represent ships. Raw resource deposit and material required for deposit upgrade. Okay, we've seen that. So this is showing what the planet provides. In this case, it looks like the iron, I think. I could be wrong. And then what they need to upgrade that deposit is on this side to the left of the planet. And on the right side is the colony demand, the colony constant demand. And then the colony update materials to require to increase the population cap. All right, cool. And I think the one, I think the constant demand is to maintain your population. And then, or no, it's to grow your population, right? Grow your population to the cap. And then I think the one on the right here, in the bottom right hand, that is in order to raise the cap so you can get more and more people there. All right, we'll close that. I'm going to go ahead and pause. 
So that we, there's some stuff that I know we need that we don't have set up yet. So I don't want to kind of get ourselves in trouble. So I'm going to pause. Let's read these last two. Find station or ship. Press I. Click on the ship or station name. All right, let's try that real quick. I'll hit I. If we want to go to our, let's see, let's go to, where are we now? Let's go to Mars. Okay, easy enough. Just hit the I. Let's go back to our energy carrier. We get our trade ship here. We're going to use in a second. And then follow ship. What does it say? Hover the cursor over a ship and press left shift plus J. Press left shift J again to unfollow. Okay, so as ships are going from place to place, sometimes they bolt off automatically. We saw our flagship go and get more iron one time. In fact, it loaded up while, it, yeah, wow, this guy just loaded up. Anyway, um, so we can follow the ship when we want to. I don't see an immediate need for that. All right, we've got our trader ship. It's actually got a little power here. So that's cool. I think our energy carrier did that for us automatically. Injected a little bit of power onto the ship. Let's set this guy's auto logic this time to trade routes. Okay, it says, hey, there are no trade routes. All right, let's take care of that. We are here at Venus. We have access to carbon. And we have access on the station to this refined carbon. This guy's still processing. Why aren't these full? Oh, I got to pause. That's why. Let's unpause. But we want to get iron ingots or iron, not ingots, but the refined iron, I guess, or just plain iron down to the planet so we can upgrade our output of carbon ore. So let's set up a trade route. The way we do that, we go into the map. I think we hit, is it F? And we pick what we want to set up a trade route for. So we're going to do iron, boom. And now I pick where we have it to where it needs to go. So they're kind of showing me a hint what I need to do here. I'll just click and drag. Boom. Now we've got a trade route set up. Okay. Escape out of that. Now, since there's a trade route established, we can right click on this guy, do the auto logic and set him up as set ship to trade routes. Boom. Okay, so now this guy's going to get iron. So let's see if we go to where our iron is produced, you can see our trade ship here is picking up a bunch of iron. It, know, it knew where it was produced and just came over here automatically. And that's probably going back to Mars. I don't know if it'll show up here or not. Okay, it's loading up energy. It's actually getting it from the station. So that's interesting. And it delivered some iron down to the planet because this was at 400. Now it's at 350. So that trade ship's going to go automatic. We don't need to really worry about it. Once it meets this need, completes this contract, supplies another 350 iron, that trade route will just disappear on its own. And so, and then the trade ship will be waiting for the next uh, trade route that it can go service. service. So yeah, it just delivered 50 more. So now we're down to 300. Let's... Now see about, we need to get iron ingots down to Venus in order to increase the population. And that's a constant demand. So let's see, do we have iron ingots being produced anywhere yet? Let's go over to Mars. That's where all the iron is. Okay, are we producing iron ingots yet? We're not. We've got the iron. We don't have iron ingots. These guys are sitting here ready to produce iron ingots. We just need to research it. Let's research iron ingots. Uh, where is that? It's going to be off to the left, I'm sure. Here's iron ingots. Let's research that. We got a planet that needs it. Get that going. As soon as that's researched, these guys will kick in and start producing iron ingots for us. While that's being researched, we need carbon on Mars. So let's go take a look at Venus. Venus has the carbon. Are we storing any? Yeah, we've got some stored up here. Let's set up a trade route, get carbon over to uh, Mars. So we'll go back to the map. I'll hit F and we want to do carbon. Carbon is here. Oops, did I do the right one? I think I did. 
here, over to here. If I right click on this guy, oh, I thought it was, uh, try that one more time. Oops. Map. F carbon. Okay. Yeah, it's still there. I thought there was a way to see the details here. Here they are. Okay. Carbon. Uh, it's got a batch size of 50 default batch size 50. Sure. So as soon as there is, as soon as there is 50 carbon, there it goes. So our trade ship is now working on that contract. It saw that there was 50 carbon available. It's loading it up. We go back to Mars. See the carbon demand is at 500. Now it's at 450. And that's a one-time contract. So our trade ship is doing its thing. It can get power. Its power is automatically being generated by our station here at Mars. It's keeping busy. It can't even keep all its batteries charged. So our trader can come here and get charged up or our energy carrier will, will take care of it. There it goes again. I want to get something. All right. So we've got on Mars, the carbon order is being taken care of. The constant demand is being met through our little trade hub here. We haven't done the plastic plates. That's kind of important because our iron ore output is limited until we can get plastic plates. So let's see about doing that. Um, oh, we've got our iron ingots. So we've got our iron ingots. Let's jump over to Venus. Didn't Venus need iron ingots? We just unlocked that technology. Let's head over there, Venus. Oh yeah, it needs iron ingots consistently. So a constant demand. Now there's another thing we can do when it comes to meeting the constant demand that may be a little more efficient than using the trade ship. Cause this is gonna, we're gonna have to keep hauling stuff here. So let's experiment with that. What's happening here is our trade ship is just collecting uh, the carbon. I think we wanna expand our station on Venus. So let's do that. Let's see, I'm gonna go into the build menu. I'm just gonna hit B. We just got a bunch more stuff here. I'm gonna select wall segment one. And now I'm gonna, let's see if it lets, oh, I pick a material, iron. Let's build this out. Ooh, that's horrible. Let's see, uh, delete. Build, delete. Let's clean this up a little bit. I'll go back to wall segment. I think if I shift, I think it's shift left click. Gotta pick my material, shift left click. Will allow me to expand the platform here. In one big section, all right. Let's get our, let's have our flagship go ahead and build this for us. We're just expanding our station here on Venus. And again, what we're working on now is we're, we're producing the iron ingots. We can go look because we just unlocked them. So I think our other station is producing them. Let's go over to Mars. Okay, there's a bunch of iron ingots just waiting to be used for something. So we can, uh, we can leverage this. You know what we're going to have to do though? I'll show you. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Let's go over back over to uh, Venus. Okay, we're expanding our station just so we have room. These guys are doing their thing. They're moving pretty quick. We're just at single speed here. All right, now we've got some room to build. What we want to do is we want to import those iron ingots onto the station and then beam them down to the planet, right? And do that pretty much consistently for a long period of time. So let's, I'm going to dismiss all of these. We can come back to these, but they're a little distracting. So I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff. Okay. 
let's go to the build menu. Let's go to machines. And now there is a way. I think it's transportation teleportation relay. This is going to allow us to teleport materials from one location to another. So let's grab this guy. Hop him down. Right. Here. Okay. And then we saw at our other station where we're beaming down. Um, I guess I can just show you. Let's go to Mars. So remember our trade hubs? The trade hub is sending this iron down to meet the consistent demand. And our population's up to 250,000 as a result of that. So we're going to do the same thing. We need one of these trade hubs on our other station. Go back. So we're going to import resources and then we're going to feed them into a trade hub. Let's go hit the build menu. Machines and trade hub. And I just need room, I think, for a pipe. And the pipe is this pneumatic tube or pneumo tubes. Let's drag between here like that. And get our flagship to build it. All right, so now we need to, this is a relay. I want this guy to receive materials. And let's see, if I click this, I want him to receive, what was it? Iron ingots. I'll click this, look for iron ingots. There they are, boom. Connect this guy up to the network. Okay. Oh, I have to do it from a neighboring sector too. Well, well here, let's read the hints here, what it tells us to do. Teleportation relay allows transport resources, allows to transport resources instantly within a location or a neighboring sector. Build a transportation relay, right click it, select the resource, connect the tubes, and then click on the connect button. So we just did all that. Trade hub. Uh, we've already done the trade hub, so we kind of know what that's about. What we need to do now, though, is we've got our ingots over here. Let's build a teleporter here because we need to send the ingots off of this station. So we're going to the build menu. Machines. Teleportation relay. I'm just going to put it on top of these guys. This guy has automatic got its own builder, so he'll do his own thing. Right click on this. It's a sender of ingots. Connect. I think that's good. Now we need to go to Earth. Back to the map. Because these two sectors are not adjacent to each other, they can't teleport across uh, a sector. It's got to go from sector to sector to sector. So let's do a station here. Let's see if we can build one. Whoops. We want blueprints probably. Let's do the search. Let's do stations. I don't know if there is an earth station. Doesn't look like it. So let's just grab station core. Boom. Build that. Out of metal. Basically, this is just the start of a station, right? There's not much here. We need to send our flagship over. So let's go find that. I think what it was at I. Let's grab our flagship. He's got plenty of building materials. Let's just right click on him and jump to sector Earth. Okay, there he is. Let's get this built. Okay, he moved around a little bit. And then let's go into the build menu and make a fairly big platform here that we can build on. Just select wall one segment out of iron. I 
think I can, let's see, left shift. Let's just get ourselves a fairly good sized place to work with. Get to drag our ship back here again. And here, I think we're just gonna build two of those transport relays. One's gonna receive iron ingots and one's gonna go send iron ingots. So we'll wait for this to build. Okay, we our colony just leveled up. This was from us delivering, I think either those that uh, carbon or the iron ingots. I can't remember which one. We just leveled up a colony. It should give us more memory. We're up to 96,000 XP. While this is happening, they want us to unlock the oil harvest. Let's go do that since we don't have any research selected. Just get that research. That's kind of something they seem to want us to do. Okay, now we've got the basic earth station here. Let's plop down two teleporters. Trans teleportation relay. You to you. And we can put tubes there too between these guys. Pneumo tubes. I don't know if we need one or two. We'll do two. We can do three. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I think these guys are pretty slow. And let's build. And again, we're basically right now trying to get iron ingots over to Venus. And instead of using trade ships, we're going to use this teleportation method. Uh, this guy probably needs power on this station too, I'm guessing. Let's build some batteries. And while that's happening, let's look here. We want this guy to receive ingots. Right, connect. Click on the neighboring sector. He's gonna get ingots from here. This guy is getting ready to send off some ingots, I think. Yeah, so he's starting to send ing ingots to earth. Let's go back to earth. Okay, this guy's got ingots. Now this one, we got to configure as a sender. Ingots. Connect. And he's going to send these off to Venus. Hey, this guy should start getting them. In a second, or do I not have this guy set up? Yeah, receiver, ingots on. Connect. Here. Okay, back to... Oops, what's going on here? Let's see. I want to go to Venus. This guy's not getting them yet. Receive. Ingots. Connect. You're going to get them from here. Click on a neighboring sector. Boom. Going to teleportation relay to connect to here. There we go. You can see the ingots moving there. So we're getting ingots from Mars. They're coming through Earth and they're being sent off to Venus. Now we need to get them down on the planet. So we've got the ingots here. They're just queued up, nothing's happening. Venus wants ingots. We're going to just drag this iron ingot into our trade hub. I think that, does that not work? Maybe it doesn't. All right, let's come into here. And pick iron ingots. It's going to send them down. We hit close. There we go. Now we're meeting the consistent demand or the constant demand of iron ingots 
that Venus wants. And this is going to allow our population to go up. So there it goes, right? And that's kind of the whole goal of the game is to get up to a billion population and maintain it. Now, if we stopped supplying ingots, this population is going to drop down and we're going to get further from our goal. All right, so we met that need. We've got a one-time contract here on the planet for iron. I think our, is our trader on this? Let's just see. We're at level two for uh, Venus here. Let's make sure we've got a contract to bring iron over. These one-time contracts, like the right side here and the right side over here, those seem to make a lot of sense uh, to use the um, the trade ships. And then the, the constant contracts over here, the constant demand, those I think make more sense to use trade hubs and these teleporters. All right, let's see if we've got a contract to bring iron over to where we're at, which is Venus, right? Iron over to Venus. Let's do it. Map F for contracts. We're looking at just regular old, plain old iron. Okay, it looks like we've already got a contract in place there. So our little trader should be doing his thing. Let's see. There he goes. He's going to go deliver some iron right now. So that's at 800. We'll keep an eye on that. We've got plenty of carbon, so that's looking good. Our little energy generator guy here, station, has got full batteries. Our energy ship has got full batteries. So all looks to be pretty good. And now we're sending those ingots down. They're going a little bit slower. So we'll have to make, we'll probably have to scale this up at some point and make sure we're getting enough. But I think we're okay. This number looks like it's going down. So I think we'll be okay. And we'll be able to level this up at least, at least one level. We'll be able to meet this demand. All right. Venus doesn't have any contracts, one time contracts. Let's head over to Mars again and just keep an eye on that. Mars doesn't have any contracts. Its iron needs are met. We're just kind of waiting, I guess, for the population to hit a certain number. And we'll get another contract. Plastic plates. We need that. We need that. Let's see what it's going to take in the research tree to produce plastic. I have no idea. Uh, maybe we should go to claim the sector, actually. Let's go to Saturn. So I'll hit I. Double click on my flagship. Right click, jump to sector. Let's go to Saturn, explore that and colonize it. All right, here we are. Here we are at Saturn. We've got nickel. Very cool. And it says no tech. I don't think we can actually research that yet. Or we can't, uh, I'm guessing we can't bring that up yet. Let's look at the tech tree and see what we've got around nickel. Uh, titanite, gold, nickel ore mining. Let's research that. We'll get that going. Uh, let's go ahead and colonize or claim this sector. Very cool. We've got 25,000 extra, extra population pretty much instantly. They want iron just as a contract. Let's set that up. So F for contracts, iron. We want from Mars over to Saturn. Boom, that's done. So that'll meet that need eventually. Uh, we will start collecting nickel on the planet as soon as our research completes. And then they want iron shells in order to, for the population to grow on Jupiter or Saturn, sorry, on Saturn. Let's, oh yeah, the Jupiter's here is one of our other mission objectives. All right, let's see what it takes to do the iron shells. That's all over near Mars. So let's go to Mars. What do we got going on? We got all these ingots and they're queued up. I think this was where these guys are ready to do iron shells. We just don't have the tech. 
Let's queue that up. Because we know we're going to need that. Here's iron shells. We'll pick that guy and research it. 8,000 XP. But we've got 80. It's actually climbing. Even with the research, we are outpacing our... Uh, our research expenditures just by colonizing these planets and meeting their needs. So that's all very cool. While we're at Mars, we can see we're in decent shape here on the iron. Check this out. They've got a single order here for a thousand iron ingots. We might be able to get clever and just take them right out of here. Let's put a trade hub down. Let's do that. Let's put a trade hub down. We're going to the build menu. Build. Uh, machines. Trade hub. These aren't very expensive. I mean, four iron. Uh, in fact, I can just take all of this. This guy's got its own constructor, which is kind of cool. And then we can right click here and send down iron ingots. So that's pretty cool. Off we go. Now we're meeting this need. It's a one-time need. I mean, we could try and optimize and have all these guys send in, but I think we'll be all right. This plastic plate is constraining our ability to get iron ore up from the planet. You can see this is a little lackluster. Bringing materials up from the planet. But we will eventually meet the need. We'll meet that contract. We already got 30 of them knocked off. All right. Back to... Our new planet, Saturn. Let's see what this is all about. Do we need a Saturn station? We probably do because this iron shell is going to be a constant demand just to keep the population up. So we're probably going to have to do one of those relays to bring iron shells over here. Let's look at the blueprints and see if there's a station blueprint for Saturn start with it doesn't mean we have to stick with these we can start from scratch we can delete everything we can uh rework what they're suggesting i don't see one for saturn let's build the station core let's see we got a new request for carbon we'll go meet that let's build a core over here saturn station uh before we do let's go ahead and uh, put some building blocks down too And we'll go with iron. Oops, I think I have to start on a block here. So shift. I don't know how big we can make these. Oops. And we'll just drag, get that. Constructed. And again, we're going to have to do that same kind of thing. Run relays to bring iron shells over. We're researching the ability to produce them now. We've already got the uh, equipment to make these. We just need to unlock the tech. Unlock tech, electricity from oil. We can queue that up too. They seem to want that. Let's just do it. We'll get rid of that tutorial. Oh, create a route for carbon. So we just saw one of our planets has a need for carbon. Where was that? It must have been Mars. Nope, not Mars. Okay, Venus needs carbon and we have it right here. Why don't we get creative and do kind of the same thing? It's cheap. We can just uh, we can just run a trade hub to get that carbon down to the planet for 500. Let's go to the building menu. Oh, I got to bring my construction ship over here. So maybe, all right, let's do it. Set up the trade hub, and we can delete these pretty easy. Fit over here. So let's put it right there. We'll build a pneumo tube. Do a couple. And then it's saying one of our objectives here is to build a construction ship and run auto logic on it. That'll help us from having to keep bringing our flagship over to do the building for us. So let's do that. 
let's go to where our flagship is. So I'll just go I to bring everything up. Double click on flagship. Let's grab another blueprint. This time we'll do this ships. And let's do this construction ship. We'll just take it as it is. Out of steel. Drop this guy down. And let's get this guy queued up to build that as well. Now he's going to go probably fetch some iron. It's kind of running out. I think he can go get that up Mars. So we'll probably see our ship leave and come back. But I think once we get the construction ship built, um, whoops, I like that. He moved on to doing this ship automatically. I wonder why I didn't just finish this anyway. No big deal. Once this is built, just like we don't have to worry about electricity anymore or charging up our ship and stations, we won't have to worry about going to get construction materials or fetching our flagship. In fact, our flagship, we're going to change the role of this thing. Eventually we can probably rip out, like I said earlier, rip out the storage for carbon, rip out the power generation. We don't even need it. We may burn off this oil first. Um, once we research how to do that, but then we could clear out all of this and find a different use for this, uh, for that ship. So let's go ahead and speed up time. I'm hoping to have this uh, new construction ship take care of the, um, the contract that we're trying to satisfy, or at least to do the building of the trade hub that we laid down on the, I think it was the Mars station. So these guys, the robots are docking. They're, they're gonna head off and go get some more iron. And watch that, off he goes. Yeah. Okay. Now the nickel got researched. So we're starting to accrue nickel or accumulate nickel on the planet. We don't have a use for it yet, but we will. Okay. Here comes our flagship. Well, he didn't get much, did he? Ooh. Yeah. See, we need plastic in order to up to increase our iron production. So that's kind of a bottleneck here. Okay. Now we're burning off all the oil. You can see it's charging the batteries by burning off the oil. But we really don't need this guy generating electricity. You can see we're coming up short on iron. Really short on iron. This guy just made a trip for building materials and man, he did not bring back many. So plastic's going to be a thing. I bet it's that what we need is here on Jupiter. Let's go take a look the map and see can we do we even know where Jupiter is there it is we're gonna need to probably send our flagship over there you know what I think we can explore with our energy carrier can we do that let's send our energy carrier over to Jupiter and just see how that works here he is can I colonize Jupiter right click claim sector yep boom Jupiter's got oil Bet we can get plastic somehow from that. All right, unlock tech plastic plate. Let's do it. Research that. That one's 8,000. And then there is a station for Jupiter. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop down a blueprint. Stations, Jupiter station. We will start with this. Why not? It's kind of a suggested station design, but we'll go with it in the beginning. We may change it later. Main holdup right now is iron. So we got to get plastic plates here before we can beef it up. So there's our flagship coming to pick up just a few building materials. You know, we're chewing up a lot of iron in the form of uh, iron ingots here. Looks like we've got some iron shells. Is that what these are? Iron shells. Oh, this is actually weapons. Nice. So these are like bullets. 
Let's see. Somebody needs these. Let's go to the map. Oh, I could have sw okay, yeah, here we got Saturn wants iron shells. Let's let's go to Saturn. Is that a Oh man, yeah, they want these consistently. So we're going to have to build we're going to have to build all kinds of stuff. We know we're going to have to transport those in. Let's go ahead and lay down what we need. We know we need a transport relay. That guy's going to bring in iron shells. I'm looking for him. I don't see him. Maybe I have to... You know, we have those unlocked. Where would those be? There they are, right there. Iron shells. Going to be a receiver. Okay, I won't do the connect. I don't know that that even does anything yet. And then we need the trade hub to send them down. We'll go ahead and build that guy. Machine. Trade hub. Tech store. Grab a couple of pneumatic tubes, send those across. And set this guy up for iron shells. Close. Now we need to get iron shells all the way over here. Like we're, we're basically waiting for iron. We're waiting for all kinds of stuff right now. So let's go to ship list. Where's our flagship? Okay, he just left. So we're waiting for all this stuff to get constructed, basically our construction ship. And it's going to be slow just because we're so short on iron. So let's go back to Jupiter. Can't do anything here yet. Let's look at the research tree. I think we've got everything we need for the plastic production. I think it's just these plastic plates. And again, right now I'm just thinking of how can we quickly or as soon as possible apply this need for plastic plates. We know we're going to need to, or this is a contract. So we're just going to use a trade ship for this. So we don't need to do any teleporting. We don't need to um, set up trade hubs. This is a one-time contract. So we're going to need, we can't see, we're just, we're so starved. We're very starved on iron. This is where, here over in Jupiter, is where we're gonna manufacture those that plastic. We just can't do anything right now. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up. We're basically just waiting on, um, just waiting on iron plates so we can get things constructed. This one's gonna need a consistent supply of plastic plates. So yeah, we'll definitely have plastic plate production taking place on this station. We've got iron ingots that we can supply to the planet. I guess we could set up a contract for that while we're waiting. Of course, it's iron, right? We're very short on iron. Iron ingots are needed. Yeah, up here too. So Mars is the bottleneck to all of our expansion. Oh, what's going on? Where's our, oh, our energy ship. I think when I used it, maybe that took it off its, uh, its route. So let's do, let's get the energy carrier going. Right click, auto logic, energy carrier, off he goes. He's running over to Mars, which is good. So he's gonna fill up, there we go. All right, we had a backlog of iron ore. That's the other thing that was holding us up. So that's good to know. If you use your energy ship to uh, do exploration, make sure you set it back to energy ship. Anyway, it'll catch up pretty quick, actually. I'll burn through all this pretty fast. We're 
We're running at four times speed. That's why it looks extra fast. Let me slow down to double speed. I'm not sure what these little things are here for. These little pneumo tubes, maybe just for looks. And this trade hub is kind of a temporary thing. It's just fulfilling this one contract, one time contract. We may take that off. Or we may, whatever the next contract is, we may extend the station, put a transporter and pipe in whatever we need and then just reset this guy. We'll see. All right, we're caught up now and you can see the iron production is just kind of anemic until we get those plastic plates, but we did get a big burst of them. Let's head over to see what we're doing. This is our trade ship. He's basically waiting for a lot of iron. Okay, we got carbon that we could be delivering. Venus needs carbon. Oh yeah, we were going to do it with this, but we just don't have the ability to do it. I could do it with the, um, you know, I could do it with our trade ship instead of doing it this way. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's build, let's delete that and this and this. Just because we're so short on iron parts, we can set our, our trade route to deliver this carbon down to the surface. Okay, how we do that? Map. Hit F, carbon, and we just drag straight back down, I think. Yeah. That does it. This guy will load up with carbon and we'll satisfy the population. Population one time contract here. That should go pretty quick, actually. We've got tons of carbon on the planet, over 4,000. So, yeah, it would have been cool to do it with a trade hub. But we've got tons of energy. We've got, you know, a trader that's just waiting for iron parts so he can go fill that contract pretty fast pretty fast cool let's wrap this episode here what did we do well we built uh we're in the process of building a construction ship. We've kind of deployed our trader ship to satisfy a few contracts now. Our population is up to 800,000. The next target milestone is a million, so we're getting close. That's up here at the top of the screen. And I believe we'll see what happens when we meet the target. I'm not sure if that unlocks new tech on its own or just gives us a bunch of uh, free memory. I'm not really sure what happens there. We did some exploring this time. We found Saturn. We found Jupiter. We've got an asteroid we need to explore, as well as this shell factory out in space. I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe we'll check those out next episode. But yeah, let's stop it here. We're making some progress. War Analysis GliderCat signing off, saying thanks so much for watching. If you like this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That does really help my channel grow. And thanks to everybody that has been giving thumbs up. I really appreciate it. For now, I will uh, leave it here, and we'll see you in the next episode.